Um, yeah, just with the defence, um, so we conceded 14 turnovers and the gentleman here talked about transition defence. So any, any team that turns over um, turns over the ball um, struggles to defend, particularly bigger guys. So if I, if I think about the defence in terms of one-on-one -on -one tackles, it's an area where we need to improve. But having said that, um, their number 11 was a, a pretty big guy and we really struggled to, to defend him, so I thought he had a point of difference that we really struggled with. Um, not just one player, but, but every player. Um, if we didn't concede so many turnovers, then our defence system is fine. So that would be the second area. And the last area really is um, when they get in behind us, our forwards are too slow to create the, the depth and the width. And not so much the depth, but the width around our right, which then puts pressure on our outside back. So those are the three areas that we really need to improve on. We certainly don't have a problem scoring points. Um, it's just conceding, conceding too many points too easily. We share 50% of the position. Uh, we shared 50% of the territory. We got the game line 77% of the time that we hit the ball in hand, and we scored five tries. So, as I say, um, and our discipline was very good today. We only conceded three, ten, three penalties versus their 10. So, uh, our team's moving in the right direction. The defence is the area, um, and those are the three, the three points that, um, that the biggest work on for the side. I think you're right. Um, I think I think that's where we're at, and. I think that's why it's important that the coaching group and the playing group uh, remain aligned. And so we put a lot of emphasis around maintaining that alignment uh, right from the start of the week. So um, we're working together, Nagade's group and, and, and the coaching group. We understand the competition is difficult and, and we've got a number of reasons where we need to and um, where we can improve. And at the end of the day, you, you, I mean, you're right. And, and, and as, a, as a group of men, I, I can only say that they are unbelievably committed uh, to the Sun Wolves and getting things right. Um, I think you saw that today. I didn't think you saw that last week uh, when we were here against the Chiefs. I thought we we didn't play well and we didn't and we didn't certainly didn't play to our potential but you know if I thought we did today, I thought you know there's lots of mistakes in every game from every team but I think our players today mentally especially were in a very good space. And then they can play rugby, you know, and, and then it's quite simple. They were having fun out there with, with the ball in hand. Um, but defensively, we, we were poor at times and we need to fix that up. Oh, I see, I see improvements, but I see um, with individuals, but I, I but also see an improvement in the opposition <laughs> um, that we're playing each week. So, you know, well, we're playing some, today I think there was 11 Wallabies in this side. Um, next week we play the Blues, I think there's nine All Blacks. We play the Crusaders, which is the rest of the All Black team. So, uh, what my point is, is we're playing some pretty quality sides, and you know, um, the, the Waratahs, for example, have an average of scoring 34 points every game. So every week they score 34 points. It's not just against the Sunwolves; they do it every week. So, you know, and this is a competition we're in. So, um, uh, and the technical or the detail around the defence is uh, I've already answered. Didn't help. I think the Waratahs lost the line out. I think someone's lost four, of which two led directly to tries. Three. I mean, is there a need to perhaps vary it, perhaps have shorter line outs? I mean, what can be done? Because it is a reoccurring thing. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, but three of those four line outs were not straight because the wind was too windy. You know, so um, I'm not sure that's the line out. Um, but yeah, no, for me, that yeah, really wasn't really annoying because, as you say, um, but it was a different, it's a different problem. I, I think if you look at the line out um, last week, our locks were he on, six foot one. Our other lock was Wimpy, six foot one. And they're both loose forwards. And they're there because in the sidelines we've got 16 guys who are injured. So a coach doesn't like to come to a press conference and talk about there's 16 guys injured when you're losing. But that's, that's the truth. <laughs> um, and we've got loose forwards playing at lock for the previous two or three games. And we're playing South African teams with very big men. Um, today was, um, and we sleep the good guys today. Eh? We, we got we got our locks back. We got Wikes back, and we got and we, we played the youngster. Who I thought played very well. He made one mistake, but other than that, he played very well for a player who's had very limited experience, particularly at this level. Um, two non strokes and an overthrow from our hooker, um, who's a quality player. He's played over 50 Test matches for his country. Um, that's all I've sort of put it down today. So what I'm going to do about it is going to practice. Mate.
just finally from me, um, you know, like it takes a lot of courage for our players to get, keep getting up every week and facing the music and doing their best when they come out and play against quality sides. And you can't do that unless you've got men of character. And um, so I want to acknowledge Nagata Sun and his group because there's we've got some real men of character, which is which is really important. Um, you know, you know what type of team you got when when things aren't going so well. And I can honestly say here today that. Now this group are trying and doing everything they can possibly do to get what, what we all want, which is a result.